Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we entered Gobi's Valley, and in this episode we're gonna finish Gobi's Valley, at least try to finish Gobi's Valley. We got the running shoes and all that cool stuff, the last move from Bottles. Thank you Bottles, for being a true friend and giving me all these great moves. But, hopefully we finish Gobi's Valley in this episode, because I, I like to keep these episodes at two parts. It's convenient for me. But uh, this is going to be a little tricky, actually. This next jiggy that we're going to get. So with the running shoes, you got to run up this pyramid. Hopefully I can do it. Oh, I got stuck. Take as many shortcuts as you can. Jumping up all the corners. Probably not going to be able to do it. Oh, I'm close. Nice, I actually did it. Cool. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And you dip in some water. Take a dive. Down here, we can get the Jiggy on, like, this Mario face. I think that's supposed to be teeth, but, I don't know, it kind of looks like Mario. There's some mummies in the water. And with that, we can drain the water out. And put it into the, uh, this little moat here. And that'll be useful because, hey, there's something important in there. Besides notes. There are, I think there are notes down there, actually, now that I think about it. Go away, mummy. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the water. At least I think there's notes down here. Yeah, there are. And yeah, there's a flight pad down there, so in case you fell during that one little mini game, you can jump back up. I think it's only in that one spot, though. But uh, around here is the last Jinjo. Blue Jinjo. The Jinjos are pretty easy to find in this level, actually. I didn't, I didn't think they would be uh, that easy from what I remember. I guess they are. But I think that's it. There's a Mumbo token. I want that, and that's it from the water. Sweet. I think I have one more temple to go into. If I remember... I think I actually have to open it up by flying through it. I think that's the last temple that I had to actually go walk through. So, before I do that, there's one other thing. Remember, uh, what was his name? Nut Breath, or whatever the hell his name was. The tree. Uh, he needed some water. And we helped our friend Gobi. And what's, uh, what are camels known for? Storing water in their humps. So I wonder if, uh, Gobi, we wanted to look for some shade, so I wonder if he's over here. And he is! Look at that! Freeing Gobi from that rock. Gets him in front of Trunker. That's his name. This tree looks a bit thirsty. But I need all my water for myself. Even though there's a moat around you. Trunker wants rain. I'm shriveling up. Wait, hold on. Wait, no, I said this. How's your nut spark breath? Yeah. Innuendo. You'll see that in a Banjo-Kazooie uh, rated E for everyone question mark video. There's a lot of innuendos. There's not as... I know Banjo-Kazooie's known for the innuendos, but mainly Banjo-Tooie. This game, there's like, some, but not a lot. Ah, oh, lovely water. Trunker feels great. And then he gets erect. Trees don't grow that fast, by the way. But yes, there we go. Uh, we got a Jiggy. Can't climb... We can't climb him, but we'll climb one of his brothers. And we'll grab the Jiggy. Sweet! It's our eighth Jiggy. And now I think the rest of the Jiggy... Actually, hold on. We gotta go talk to Gobi once more. And there's actually notes here that I completely missed. So, grab those too. Forgot all about those notes. But there is another spot where Gobi is, and we have to go to that. And there's a magic carpet that flies around. I don't know where it stops. It stops right on the foot over there, so... Don't forget about that. Let's go over and grab these notes. The mumbo token here. I also think there's, on the other side, if I went to the right, I think there is a, um, what do you call it? Uh, extra life, if you really want an extra life. <laughs> Which, 
by that last recording that I did of Freeze Easy Peak, that was on like April 2nd. And it's the 6th now. So, all those extra lives are gone. They've been gone for a few days now. So, uh, not getting those back. But, uh, come on to this foot right here where these eggs are. Let's grab some eggs. And the magic carpet should be coming by. Come here. Alright. Jump on the carpet. This one doesn't disappear. Spontaneously. Um, I'll stop right here, too. But what you want to do is you want to ride the carpet all the way up here. Because, hey, look, it's Gobi again. Hello, Gobi. Grab these notes. And... Boom. You get a honeycomb piece. Bah! That's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. I'm out of here. Alright. See you later, Gobi. And we get another honeycomb piece. And then this door right here is not important. It was going to be important, but it's not. And you can probably guess, if you watched the Freeze Easy, Freeze Easy Peak episodes, you probably know what's behind that. In case you didn't, it's the stop and swap crap. Which, you know, is gone now, so... I think that door still opens, or unless it's just closed forever. I think you can actually glitch into it. I don't know how. But there might be a way to glitch into there. So, uh, that's the other honeycomb piece. And now it's time to... Uh, fly. We have to fly for the rest of the jiggies. And all that stuff. I'm just trying to... Where's the flight pad, actually? I think it's on one, top of one of these. I think it's on top of... The, no, it's not. Where is the flight pad? There you are. I almost forgot about you. Alright, so the first... Uh, flight pad thing. Uh, you need the beak bomb for this one from Freeze Easy Peak. This one opens up this uh, door here. So, you actually have to go into Freeze Easy Peak to complete this level, and you need to go into Gobi's Valley to complete Freeze Easy Peak. So, do whatever. Oh, it's this guy. Right, I remember you. Hello. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for some treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours, if you can get it. Yes. Yeah, sure. Alright, let me just steal your stuff real quick. Very important. I have your stuff. What's yours... Or what's mine is mine, and what's yours is also mine. That's a Repo Man quote. And the rest of the notes are in here. We got all the notes. Nice. Alright, so this uh, snake charmer here. Basically, what you gotta do is poop in his basket, and then he'll sing a song to the snake. And he'll have him rise up, rise up. And it gets slightly faster, but I'm probably gonna miss multiple times. There we go. Nope, another one. Come on. I don't know how many times you have to do this. I think it's like five times. Right, come on. No, I was in a groove. There we go. Ah, uh, a thousand thanks, my friend. His stop will now help you with your quest. Yes, text is too slow. Sitting on his head. You can also climb his neck. But hey, there's our ninth jiggy. Sweet. I just want to climb his neck real quick. Yeah, that looks so weird. But thank you for that. That's all you have to do in there. And now the final jiggy is going to be uh, obtained by these golden statues. As you can see, rising out of the ground right here. I didn't make the jump. Get up there. Okay. Doesn't matter if I die now, because hey, I got all the notes, so I don't have to worry about dying. At least in Banjo-Tooie, you know, if you die in a level, you don't have to worry about the notes. So thanks for that. So, this next, or the final jiggy, you have to fly through these hoops if I can do it. Come on! There we go. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Oh, wait, oh yeah, I could just beat the game like that? That seems pretty simple, actually. Let's do that. 
Um, they spawn in a random location. I don't actually remember where that one is specifically. But before we do that, let's grab the last honeycomb piece. And we got another honeycomb container, and we have extra health now. Key. I actually don't remember where this other sand guy is. Where are you? Oh, he's right over here by the Sphinx, of course. I was like, yeah, I, I can't be that stupid. I mean, this level's not big. So, I can't lose him that quickly, can I? Can I please, please, let me throw, come on. Get over here. I just want to fly through the hoop. Find through fucking rings. I'm so sick of flying through rings. After I beat Superman 64, I'm like, dude, I don't want to fly through any more rings. I hate rings. I'm not the fan of the rings. Alright. Should be the last one, I think. Nope, not yet. In between the two cactuses, or cacti, I should say. Last one. Think I make a dive for it? No, I'm not going to do it. Not too risky. By risking, I mean I'm probably just going to smash my head into a cactus. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. No, I wanted to beat the witch. There we go. There's the last jiggy. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Come here, jiggy. Getting jiggy with it. Nah, 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 nah. That's the first time I made that re joke reference. It's like, what, episode 12? I finally said getting jiggy with it? Man, it took a while. But there we go. That's everything, I think. Uh, let me just get these red feathers, because I want them. Flying around for a little bit, trying to figure out where that dude was. But if everything is good... Who the hell pinged me on Steam? I don't want to join your Steam group. Please stop inviting me. Um, yeah, that's everything. Cool. So let's get out of here. Out of Gobi's Valley. And time to collect the jiggies that came from... Uh, what's it called? This level from the Grunty Switch. And then the... Actually, hold on a second, hold on a second. We forgot about Brent Tilda. Talk to Brentilda. I actually forgot she was over here. So let's learn some more uh, interesting facts about Grunty. Why don't we? Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful sweaty Betty. Disgusting. When relaxing, she usually reads Warty Girls Weekly magazine. While sipping a glass of her favorite smoothie elephant sweat. Uh, ugh. I don't even... Ugh. Can you even make a smoothie out of elephant sweat? I guess you could. What? I don't care. There's nothing going to drink that. Ever. And there's never going to be a situation where I'm going to drink elephant sweat. Um, kill this guy. He's already dead. But you could be dead again. You could drop dead. Fred? Was it, was it, no, not drop dead Fred. Was it drop dead Fred? No, it was fing Freddy got fingered. That was the bad movie. So. This jiggy, you have to jump. There we go. Got that. Oh, the Starcophagus. What was Drop Dead Fred? That was a movie too, right? Drop Dead Fred? That was better than Freddy Got Fingered. That was a bad movie. Don't watch that one. But, uh, there's the jiggy in the sarcophagus. And now this... Jiggy might actually give me a little bit of trouble because I remember failing this a bunch of times. Grab that. Uh, actually, I don't really need that. But uh, that grunty switch that we hit in Freezy's Peak, a Jiggy spawned all the way up here. Couldn't get it because, well, we didn't have the running shoes, of course. And now, since we have that, we can go up here and we can hit this switch. I wonder if I can do it right. Let's get maximum time. Actually, no, it just stops you right there. A flight pad appears. Grab the running shoes. And then sprint. 
sprint like a madman. And then jump. No, crap. Damn it. Try it again. Oh, I got it. Nice. Okay. So now what you want to do is fly through this cave leading to Freezy Peak. Make sure you don't land. That would suck. And then you want to fly all the way up here. Don't get. <gasps> no! Oh no! I'm so angry! <laughs> Come on, man! I shouldn't have done that. I'll meet you back up there. Uh, okay. Now I'm here. There we go. We got the jiggy. Oh, why does it take so long? Okay. Just to think, I have to do that again because there's another jiggy that you get from the next level. That uh, you need you need that for. So before I leave, before I end this episode off, um, ow. I'm gonna fall and hit my face. Um, let's get the last Jiggy from Freezy Peak. Alright, meeting back up with Boggy again. Hey, buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Alright. So a race with Boggy. And we have the running shoes, now we have a chance. It's gonna be a little bit tougher, because Boggy's really fast, but we're also really fast. But maybe not as fast as Boggy, though, because he's one quick motherfucker. Whoa! Hey. All right, let's see. Faster! You're not trying back there. I'm trying as hard as I can, Boggy. Okay. And if you notice, because I actually have not really shown it, because I've been beating this level no problem. If you do come back into a level, the notes do respawn. If you're playing on the N64 version said it a bunch of times, and I was like, oh, I don't want to die. But yeah, if you die, all the notes respawn, which is a given. Alright, hopefully I could beat Boggy. Get all those notes, or all those feathers. Should be good. Should be golden. Nice, we did it. Yeah, we beat Boggy. Oh, I've lost again. Take my other medal. I'm off to look for my kid's presents. Oh, Boggy, you're too late, because I already got them. Bad Parent of the Year award goes to you. But anyway, we got our final Jiggy! There we go. That's it. Got all the Jiggies in Crazy Peak. Got all the Jiggies in Kobe's Valley, so I'll meet you back outside. Alright, back outside... Um, I think that does it for this episode. Uh, we finished the rest of Gobi's Valley. We finished the rest of Freezy's Peak in this episode. So next time on Banjo Kazoo, we're going to go into the seventh world, which I believe the picture is behind this door. I, just th I think it is. So next time, we will be doing that. See you guys then.